In preparation to hear the words of our scripture, please join with me in prayer. Gracious God, help us to understand your word that opens us to your spirit and life, that we will bless others with hope, healing, and love. Amen. In the first reading, the words of Zechariah vividly describe the reign of God coming gently as a colt, but being powerful enough to cut off raging war chariots. Through perseverance and strength of purpose, the oppressed are ultimately set free. Zechariah 9, verses 9 through 12. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout loud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he. Humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from river to the ends of the earth. And as for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore you to you double. In the second reading, Jesus rebukes the crowd for indulging in fickle and shallow criticisms. Jesus reminds us that in the end, actions speak louder than words. For those who have the gift of fortitude in the face of adversity and strength in the presence of oppression, there is vindication and rest from their labors. The reign of God is found in unlikely places. Matthew 11, verses 16 through 19, 25 through 30. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say look a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except for the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and will, will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 